Good Monday morning everyone. It's a beautiful sunshiny fall day and the temp's going to get up to about 72 today. You can probably hear the traffic noise in the background so I'm trying to talk loud where y'all can hear me. But I decided I would go fishing today because it's such a beautiful day. So I have a couple of rods out and I've got some lines out to catch crabs. So let's see what happens. Y'all, we are at the end of the month of November and this is typical weather for the fall down here in South Alabama. I know that some of y'all are in really cold areas of the country right now, so maybe this will put a little sunshine in your day. Snag this one, y'all. Okay, here's my crab. Y'all see that? There he is. Let me bring y'all over here. It was actually two crabs. Let's see if y'all can see me. Okay, there was two crabs on that line. crabs right there. Okay. Dump them in my bucket right here. Oh, we got two crabs in here. I've got some more crabs in the crab cage over here in the water. So look at him hanging on to it. Let go, let go, let go. He's got us. We ain't catching no fish today, but we are catching blue crabs, and that's great. Okay, I just got a little crab on here. I'm going to shake him off. Shook him back down in the water. Y'all, that's a big crab down there. And that's the second time he's uh, got off of my, off my line. And he didn't get big by being stupid. He, he realizes that there's danger and he lets go and he gets away. So I'm hoping I can catch him. Okay, I think we got that big one back on the line here. Try it again. See if I can get it. So big, I can't get my net up under him. All right, let's give it a minute, see if he'll come back. There we go. Look, he's only got, he's only got one claw. His other claw is gone. He's just a little bitty one, so we're gonna throw him back. Okay, y'all, I got a crab cage right Got a good many crabs in there. 
Not sure if y'all can see them. These crabs that I caught on my lines that I've got in this bucket, I'm going to put them in here in my crab cage, drop this crab cage back down in the water because I want my crabs to live. I don't want them to die. So if I'll keep them in the water, they'll stay alive. And also this crab cage will catch crabs as well. I've got some bait right down here, which is just some chicken, raw chicken. So let me get these crabs. Just pour them over in here. See, this opens up like this. We're doing really good crabbing today. crabs by the time I'm through here. Okay, I'm going to drop this back down in. Okay, y'all, I've caught a nice bucket of blue crabs. Got my aerator down in there. To keep them alive until I can get them home. That is, if the crabs don't chew my aerator up. We've had a successful day crabbing, though. Turn that aerator off so y'all can see them crabs down in there. Okay, folks, I am back at the house, and I have my crabs right here in this bucket. So I put the water hose down in this bucket, and just wash the crabs off real good. They're still alive, and I'm going to put them in this boiling water right here. Now, I know that seems really cruel to put live crabs in the boiling water, but that's the way you're supposed to cook them. Okay, I'm gonna reach down in here with my tongs because I don't want them crabs getting me with their, with their pinchers. have to dump them in. That may be what I have to do. Just dump the whole shebang in. There we go. All right. I don't know if y'all saw them. They, they were blue. These are blue crabs. They were blue before I put them in the water. But when they cook, they turn kind of an orangish red color. Now I'm gonna let these, I'm gonna let this water start boiling again. I'll let these crabs boil about 10 minutes. I'll turn the heat off, put a lid on, and then I'll let them set for about 10 minutes. In fact, I think I'll go ahead and put my lid on. And that will hopefully help this water go ahead and start boiling again. Okay, y'all, our crabs are done. I'm going to pour the crabs in the sink, run some cool water over them, let them cool down, and then it'll be time to pick out the crab meat. In a previous video, I've already showed you how to pick crab meat out of the crabs, so I'm not going to do that again in this video, but if you're interested in knowing how to do that, you can go to South Alabama Cooking and just look for that video. Okay, good folks, y'all be good out there, say your prayers, we'll see you next time with another great video.